eat it, 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 then and oh, won't you eat my jiggins? Got him! All right, guys, in this week's video, we are jigging big king salmon. Actually spent two different days fishing for king salmon. One day up in Port Washington, caught some big kings jigging, and then I went the next day out of the Milwaukee Harbor, putting the meat down, beat down on them with our jigging spoons. The other thing is great news, guys. Just want to let you know, got our Facebook page. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram or not, but I'm going to leave a little link below here. Follow me on my Instagram page. But my Facebook page as well, Eric Hadia, Professional Angler, got hacked and it, I, I lost all access for like five months. So I post live videos there and stuff like that and updates on my Facebook page. But I finally got access back to it. So I'm really, really happy just to let you know. So hopefully you enjoy this week's video, putting the beat down on Big King's Jigging. Oh yeah, we're hooked up, baby. All right guys, so it is fall time. Basically the Kings have arrived here in all the harbors the water temps are perfect they're in the low 60s on the surface 61 degrees on the surface and in the 50s maybe even upper 40s at the mouth here so the kings are staging and i'm going to fish them a couple of different ways one could be a jig and a plastic two a jigging spoon um, and three or four ways uh alewives also work good right now along with skein so we'll see i'm going to start off with our jigging spoons then i'm going to probably fish some skein because i like catching big giant kings on bobbers it's a ton of fun no one out here yet so the whole harbor is pretty much empty i just marked some fish on live scope so i'm going to start fishing here we go i'm on on the hot spoon i'm on big king big king big king we are on we are on. Time to do some chasing, everybody. Oh shit, I gotta reel in my other lines. Oh shit, we're gonna have a tangle. We're gonna have a tangle. We're gonna have a freaking tangle. We already got a tangle. Get off there, get off there. Gotta go chase this guy down. All right, I got one bobber right here. Let's get this in the boat. Let's get it in the boat. This is why you don't fish with so many freaking lines. Oh my god, and it's tangled up around everything. Unbelievable. I'm gonna have a tangle. I already got a tangle, but I still got the fish on somehow. The line's going around me in the back of the boat. Oh my god, now he's going underneath me. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. We got freaking chaos. I got my line wrapped everywhere. I need help. Oh my god, now I'm behind me. I need help. I need help. I need lots of help. I got mental issues. I got physical issues. I got fishing issues. Oh my god, I'm gonna reel this one in. Thank god I got this one in. Big fish down there. Big fish. Here she comes. Here he comes. Looks like a buck. Yep, male. Nice fish. We are trying to net this king on the jigging spoon. Nice big male. Come on. Get in here. Get in here one more time. He's on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn around, turn around. Yeah, got him. Got him. Woo. Woo wee. The hook just popped right out in the net. Wow. There's a bait, guys, right here. Just popped out in the net. I'm going to pop it out. It's like, well, you can see it right there. That's a good one. That's the one we want. That's the one we want right there. Take some drag, baby. Big king. Yes. Yes. Another nice big king. Jigging up big kings, guys, on the hot spoons. Gotta love it, gotta love it, gotta love it. Let's freaking go. Oh yeah, just keep burning that drag. Keep burning. Time to go chase. So you wanna play a little chase, do you? You wanna play a little go hide and go seek? You go hide and I'm gonna seek you. Let's go! Come on! 
Mamacita. Come to Papa. We need some skein. We need burgers. Come on. Beautiful fish though, man. Oh yeah. Nice big in on the hot spoon. Oh yeah, baby. They are munching it, guys. They're munching it. That's the bait. That lime green. It's a killing machine. All right, guys. So here's what I'm going to do. I put one bobber out here. There's a float out there. It's down about 15 feet out there with a chunk of skein. Got another float rod in the rod holder back here. Make sure you clamp them in the rod holder because I have had kings rip them right out of the rod holders. And I got another float right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up front now. And I'm just going to move around. And when I see these schools of fish like this, I'll turn the trolling motor and you can see the schools of fish down there. I'm going to cast to them with the, tro with the trolling motor and jigging spoon. And then if the rod, you know, if the rods behind me fire, I'm just going to hurry up and reel in and run to the back. Now, we'll see. I don't know, you know, if the fish are picky on the floats yet, if they're going to eat skein. But uh, you always want to have skein when you come here in the fall. Well, I had to change my battery because my battery died, as, of course. While I'm fighting a big king right in the middle of the battle, nice big mama, the battery dies. Another one on that half ounce lime jigging spoon. Oh yeah, oh yeah, a little out of the water right there. Let's go. Come on, mama, we need this little mama. Come here, come here, come here. No, 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 no. Another big king on the jigging spoon. Let's go, mama. Yeah, we got her. Heck yeah, look at that, guys. Another one on the lime crush, half ounce. It's been the hot ticket for walleyes and salmon on the hot spoon, baby. Let's go. Meat down, beat down, back down, crack down. All right, so rule number one when you're coming out here looking for these kings, if you're going to be in the boat, make sure that you you mark the fish. You want to see them on your side imaging, your sonar, your live scope. If you do not see them around, like right now these fish could actually, and I'm sure there's going to be fish that are actually going to be right here right now, or even at night, there will be fish here tonight showing up. So if you don't see them or you don't see them porpoising, you may have to move from an area like here to the outside or to the river mouth, you know, move around the mouth, of the harbors, the river mouse. If you're not seeing fish, move. All right, guys, I just want to take a second and remind you that sometimes you want to go with like a half ounce jigging spoon, other times three quarter, one ounce, depending on where you're fishing, maybe even a two ounce jigging spoon. The one mistake I see a lot of guys make though is when they cast out their jigging spoons or wherever they're fishing, they let it sink to the bottom. And a lot of times the fish are suspended. So I'll count it down five seconds and give it short little pops just like that and what i'm trying to teach my customers when they're popping it don't drop your rod tip so you have a tight line and your line doesn't twist around your rod tip so just give it a little pop like that let the bait fall a little snap pop and then a lot of times you just go to rip they're eating it on the drop and boom the fish is on so and once in a while adjust your cadence you know sometimes there's like that long stroke or it's just like a little pop pop you know if you're working it high in the water column so bait caster spinning rod basically a spinning rod i'm using about 15 20 pound braid to a 15 16 pound fc sniper leader um or 14 or 16 pound straight fluorocarbon on a bait caster come on eat it dude eat it yachts we got sailboats and we got salmon we don't have a lot of fishermen though Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. We got the net ready. Come on. What do we got on here? Oh, that was epic. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right. Love it, 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 love it. Love this time of the year. Big fish, great eating fish. Oh my God, they just don't give up either. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Come here, mama. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh yeah. Big in. Big in. That's another hoglet. Big old hen mama. My guess is probably right around 25 pounds. Just a big fat one. Big fat one. I'm going to say at least 25 pounds. I'm going to use this fish. I'm going to give the meat away to one of my buddies. And then I'm going to bleed this fish out by snipping the gills right now, keeping it in the water. And then I'm going to um, bleed it out and uh, I'm going to keep the eggs out of it for skein fishing. That'll be happening in some of our videos coming up next. Damn it. Why do I always turn the GoPro off? Nice little brownie. I always turn the GoPro off. Oh. Always turn the GoPro off when I hook up. Just one of those bonus brownies you can catch here. And now, bonus brown. Boy, they love, they love that lime green right there. They've been just munching that lime green right there. The thing is, you're gonna, you really don't wanna try to take pictures of them this time of the year. You gotta get them back right away because they die. So easy. Oh my God, I just hooked up right here. Right next to shore. My other GoPro's not rolling. I'm hooked up right here, right next to shore. Oh, there it goes. Bird and drag. Put it on 10, put it on 10. Put it on 10, put it on 10, put it on 10. Guys, the other GoPro. The damn battery's not working. My battery's not working. Help, I got a screaming king on. Help, I need my other GoPro. I only got one hand on the camera. One hand on the rod. Help. Okay, okay, okay. We're back in the game. All right, here we go. Pull up my drawers. Pull up my drawers. Pull up my drawers. Nice big king. Nice big king. Oh yeah, big mamas. Right here under the boat. There she goes, she's going under the boat. Big head shakes. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Where are you going, where are you going? Where are you going, where are you going? Alrighty. Nice big mama. Oh, big head shakes. I gotta get the net under this fish quickly before the hooks come out. Yes, 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 yes. Guys, check it out. If you have not tried jigging spoons for early season kings, they munch them, they crunch them, they smack them, they crack them. That's the meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down, full effect, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I'm gonna give that fish away. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Remember, all the harbors have big kings in them right now. Get your jigging spoon out there, and catch them up. You can come right here off the shore. This is all public land. So thanks for subscribing. See ya. All right guys, so I just wanna go over some of the tackle. A lot of you guys ask questions and are wondering what size tackle, what size jigging spoon, what size rod and reel you, you should use if you're gonna try this for the first time. So today we're using like the one ounce hot spoons and the three quarter ounce hot spoons. These are available, link is in the bio. We appreciate it, but you can use a Buzz Bomb, a Clio, Cast Masters, you know, all sorts of different jigging spoons work, but we appreciate the support, you know. And then as far as for me, what I like to throw personally, I like like a medium action seven foot rod and I've spooled it all up with 14 or 16 pound fluorocarbon and be prepared to chase the fish down. So you hook them up on a bait caster, be ready to start the motor or on 10 with the trolling motor when you hook up just to chase them down because on your your traditional bait casters kings will spool these no problem so just be ready to chase them down let's say you're going to be fishing from shore you're going to be salmon fishing trying this for the first time or you're a spinning rod guy i highly recommend you look at a 3500 series 
reel. What I mean by 3500 series, smaller reels are 2500, smaller than that is 1500. So this is a 3500 series reel. You can add a lot more braid, whether you're in a boat or shore. 20 pound Power Pro is what I like to use with 16 pound from shore FC Sniper Leader. You can use a jig and a plastic, you can use a jigging spoon, you can use a crankbait, you can use a rip and wrap, all sorts of baits work right now, both day and night. But if you wanna do the casting from shore boat and you wanna have a spinning rod, make sure you get yourself enough line capacity. Bring some extra line if you're a shore fisherman because these fish fight hard and they will take you through pilings and ruin all sorts of stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed this week's video. You can use these tackle tips to help you catch more fish. Do me a favor, let me know what is your PB salmon. Mine is 33 pounds out of Racine when I was a kid back in the 80s. What's your PB salmon or have you not caught one? So thanks for watching this week's video. Leave me a comment, subscribe. We're out of here. We gotta go do some smoke fish and keep fishing. See ya. See ya.